everyone, it's Julia. This past weekend I had a craft show and as I was preparing for it and packing up, I realized that I didn't have a lot of variety. I had a lot of sweatshirts done, sweatshirt jackets, and a lot of accessories and a few journals, but I really felt like I needed something else. And so I got this idea of, used, I've seen a lot of flannel shirts this, this fall, and I got this idea of putting a lace insert in the back of the flannel shirts and just to give it a try. And it was a great success. I had I brought 18 shirts with me and sold all but one. And what was so interesting about it is that all ages bought it. And so I thought this would be a good thing to share with, with everybody because I think it'd make a nice Christmas gift. And it is a very simple project. I, I did three different colors of sweatshirts with three different designs for my craft show. And I took some footage of the show, of, of actually uh, of those shirts, and I'm going to insert that at the end of this video. See the designs that I brought to the show. Um, today I'm going to do another design that I had an idea. I'm going to do a snowman design on a red plaid flannel shirt. I have an upcoming um, show this weekend, and so. I uh, yeah, I thought I'd just do this and share it with you and I hope you enjoy this. Some of the supplies needed for this project is of course the flannel shirt. I recommend upcycling. If you if you can do it, do it. Look at thrift stores, possibly even your own closet, maybe your husband's closet. Because I was selling at a craft show and I needed so many of them and so many sizes of one color, I did pick these up at a discount store. And this is a man's shirt. It is just a 100% cotton flannel shirt and I do pre-wash them. The lace I also picked up, actually I picked this up at Walmart and it was a very good price. What you want is like a lingerie all over lace. It's very soft and it is a knit. It has a stretch to it. You do not want to get like a tablecloth lace because it's scratchy and it's uncomfortable. This was is 60 inches wide and most most all over laces are, but it was 60 60 inches wide and I I believe it was either 4.97 a yard or 5.97 a yard. So it was a very good price. And another thing you're going to need is some kind of, we're going to be making a template or, or a pattern. You're going to need some kind of paper, tissue paper or parchment paper, wax paper. Um, this is just a piece of sew-in interfacing that I've had on hand for a while and so I'm just going to be making my template out of, on this. This little snowman is going to have a black hat and so I'm, this is a piece of just a black cotton fabric and heat and bond light that I'm going to be using for the little the little hat. It'll be like an applique. Another thing needed is of course a scissor and you're going to need a lot of pins. This lace is pinned on the inside of the shirt and then you then we're going to be cutting it from the outside. Reverse applique, I don't know, maybe it has some other name for it. I've always just referred to them as reverse appliques because instead of sewing them on top you sew them on the bottom or, or on the back side of the fabric. So let's get started. We're going to be making the template and I'll show you what this is going to be. I've laid out different circles here just from plates and bowls and I think I'm going to go with this size snowman. Just going to be drawing around these and making my pattern. On to cutting this out. It's now on to cutting out my lace using my template. I'm going to fold this in half so it's just easier to cut. This lace does have an up and down to it so I'm being mindful of that. I have the lace folded in half and placing my snowman on the fold and we'll be pinning and cutting. I have 
my lace snowman cut out I'm working on the inside of my flannel shirt and one first thing to do is to figure out where the center back is and I'm measuring this top yoke part and putting a pin where where this the center back is what's nice about working with lace which you can see through and a plaid shirt is that it has the line the vertical line so I can see to make sure that this is nice and level and straight I'm working more towards the bottom of the shirt because I want to have room on the top for a hat for this snowman and so I am laying the right side of the of the lace to the wrong side of the shirt it's a little tricky to tell which is the right side of this lace but I think this is right I think that this is the wrong side and this is the right side now to get this straight and I can tell this is my line here and this is where the pins come in you need to pin all the way around this snowman making sure that it's secure so every inch or a couple inches I am putting a pin the pins are all in place I'm going to be taking this to my sewing machine next and stitching this snowman on I'm going to be using like a blanket stitch or an, a, a, an applique stitch if you don't have that on your sewing machine you have a couple other options you can zigzag zag it using a satin stitch or a zigzag that is close together or you can you can stitch it approximately a half a quarter of an inch away from the inside of the outside of the lace and then either stitch it again another quarter of an inch away from the first stitching line or zigzag it a quarter of an inch away I'm going to go ahead and, and do my stitching and I'll be back to show you the cutting. I use black thread in both my bobbin and my upper. And I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but you, I can see plainly see the stitching now on the this is the right side of the shirt. And I want to cut this inside piece of flannel out. And so how I'm doing that is I'm making sure that I'm not snipping that lace I can kind of grab the lace from underneath and I'm going to make just a small slit in the flannel then I'll be, I'm able to get my scissor in there and snip the rest of this flannel away I can feel underneath that I am not cutting through the lace and I'm just going to be cutting along close to my stitching but not right up against it and I'll be doing this all the way around until this flannel middle part just comes off I have the flannel piece removed now from the lace and this I am going to be saving I'm going to be using a little bit of this for the applique hat I'm going to put a little flower on the hat out of this the hat of course is going right above the head and it's going on the outside of the shirt now this shirt is meant to be worn over the top of a tank top or a t-shirt I like to wear them completely open over the top over leggings or just real comfortable um, blue jeans um, a black t-shirt I think is really gonna pop this snowman and I think it's gonna have a real cool look to it so on to the little applique hat I drew out a funny looking hat for my snowman and going to be tracing the hat with this heat and bond light rough cutting this out and I'm ironing it on the back side of this black piece of fabric And now on to cutting, fussy cutting this out on the on the line. I ironed a 
piece of the heat and bond light on the back side of this flannel and I've decided to use a, a flower layer by Sizzix. I'm going to run this through my Sizzix Big Shot. And this is going to be ironed right on the front of this hat. Probably put a big button right here too. The heat and bond light just easily removes, the backing just easily removes from the applique. Just kind of placing this on the way I want it. Not sure if I want it straight on or if I want to tilt it tilted a little bit. I think I like it just like that. I'm going to be ironing this on. And we'll be taking this to the sewing machine and appliquing this on with my blanket stitch or my applique stitch. Of course you could also put it on with a zigzag. I'm going to be showing you some end pictures of this and also of my other designs that I had at my craft show. I hope you enjoyed this. This was an easy little project, but I do. I just wanted to to um, share it with you because I do think it would make just a fun little gift. Bye for now. Happy sewing.